Let's like peace outside. Did I hear that correctly? And the actual accommodation oh. is just turned into wow. a pretty big tourist attraction. Hey loves, welcome back again to the channel. I'm so excited to be checking yet another video from Sweden. Today we are going to be checking out this city in Sweden surprised us. Kotenberg is not boring. Based on personal perspective, I don't think any city in Sweden is going to be boring. All right, so today we go to Gothenburg, which is the second largest city in Sweden as we leave yeah. Stockholm here. And too much information, but let me tell you something. This whole train platform. Stockholm is the largest city in you know, Sweden than Kotenberg. And so Stockholm is really amazing. Really it beautiful. is one big urinal. Oh my gosh, we came from the staircase way over there and we've walked this far and the whole thing stinks like pee. Sorry, too much information, but it's unavoidable. <laughs> and so in any case, let's go begin the journey to Gothenburg. <laughs> By the way, look at this train station. It's kind of nice inside. It smells like this outside, but inside is pretty gorgeous. Like peace outside. Did I hear that correctly? Um, this train station is looking so different. I've actually checked out the um art gallery substation. Um, I chose to believe this is another one entirely, and it's so beautiful. I love the ceiling. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And there is even a pretty fancy wow. food court here. We've got some wings, Burger King. All kind of food before your journey. I love it. It's so organized. All right, so here's the first look at the Swedish train. I guess we've got the seats in the corner. And so I tell you what, the seating space is pretty darn big. There's a pretty good gap in between Ivana and I. Yeah, I can put my first. Quite spacious, and there is in fact a laptop. This is like a old um kind of trail when you see it and face another person entirely and the new model of train that i've been seeing lately it's just like a bus sit stand it's so comfy you don't have to face somebody you don't know plug with a good <laughs> table here so you could sit here and do some work no problem it's a quite oh, spacious wow. train and it looks like we're going to leave right on time at 12 13 pm so swedish train is so uncomfortable on facing somebody so different <laughs> wi-fi works Bathroom break. Toilet is not so bad. Wow, the beauty of the Swedish countryside. Some nice, I guess, little lakes or even little ponds. The view, I love it. With some pretty green grass. Oh, wow, the lake. I just saw that not now. Bad. And so, I for one am a huge fan of the Swedish train experience. I feel like the entire car is wider than the trains I'm used to, although I might be hallucinating that. At the very least, the seat we were in was certainly wider than normal, and so it was very spacious, and everything inside was like brand new and very modern, and I'm yeah. a big fan. Five star. Five star. I'm so sorry, you know I said though, um, it looks like a traditional kind of trail. Like this is a new model and um, when he got to film the other parts of the trail, I saw that, okay, yeah, the other, what I was thinking, like the other just sitting in without facing somebody is actually there. This is actually a modernized kind of train from the one I was So, next up, we're going to show you guys our accommodation here in Gothenburg. Oh, it's a city that sounds very Batman inspired. Although I'm sure the locals are sick of that joke. So, sorry. But in any case, <laughs> let's go check our accommodation. This is my first time here and so in the here's joke, and I love it. This is the front room here. At first glance, I thought this was a kitchen, and I thought, yeah, oh my me gosh, too. We got scammed. But this is just sort of like a mud room where you can take off your clothes, and there is a laundry machine, and the actual accommodation oh. is through here and to the right. And oh. I will say, very nice place. Bed with TV, yeah. good placement. Got the couch, got the kitchen, and then there's the lovely Ivana. Now we do have a coffee machine, which is pretty great. It looks like it's very sophisticated, although it is just a simple drip coffee, kind of familiar. But at first glance, it looks like something right out of chemistry class. But this is a good That's accommodation a for us. This is kind of our size and speed. And the price is about 50 euros a night. I'll write it on the screen because I'm doing math in my head. And then we got the bathroom over here, which more than good enough for us. The lovely 
come on, do you think that's pricey? 50 hero over here, 50 hero is going to be like 70k. Yeah, thousand naira. It's actually a lot here. Um, for a shortlet apartment, it's moderate, it's, it's quite moderate, judging from the shortlet. I've you know, it's good. Steve in the background, but it's high, and uh, not bad at all. <laughs> So it's a good welcome here to Gothenburg. The sun is shining, although I guess it might rain coming soon. So we're going to hit the streets and see if we can um, explore a little bit of Gothenburg before the rain comes down. Good booking, Ivana. Oh, wow. I love how serene it looks. It is. And so, first impressions oh. of Gothenburg, Ivana the is trees. loving all of the pink trees. So pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. I guess they're blooming or blossoming a little bit earlier than most trees because most of the trees are like this, you can see behind me. But yeah, the pink ones are such a nice sign of spring coming. And it seems like the mm. parks are full of people uh, awaiting some better weather. It was calling for rain today and it's not raining, so we're feeling lucky about that. I also like oh, wow. in Gothenburg, all of the buildings are pretty low not a lot of tall skyscrapers mm. a lot of like four or five story buildings that have really nice facades with bricks and nice windows sort of a visually attractive city yeah but we are hungry so we've come to the old <laughs> market or the food food market at the very least we so let's cut. check it out so if there's one thing i love about the um nordic or the europe and um country is the fact they have food god like you can just go there you, you get different kind of foods it's not like i know they have restaurant restaurant but there's a reserved place for food entirely it's something we don't have there and as a food kind of first thing this is actually very nice like really nice this food hall is really really busy there's everything on sale here from meat butcher shop cheese shop restaurants and even fancy restaurants with where they serve like wine. We want to eat wow. here, but everywhere is so packed with people. We yeah, couldn't yeah. find any seats to sit down. So wow. maybe we'll keep lot going of money somewhere else things. and see if we can finally get some food. Yeah, it's an interesting <laughs> place here, but it's busy, man. Yeah, it's so let's so keep busy. it moving. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm hungry now. All right, so we've come to a place called Haga, which is a 400 or so year old neighborhood here in Gothenburg, which has turned into wow. a pretty big tourist attraction. There's a bunch of cafes around where Ivana and I just had a lovely sandwich. Now, when you walk the streets here, you'll notice that the buildings have a unique construction where there's concrete or brick on the bottom as a foundation and then wood all the way up. So as you walk around, it oh, does wow. feel like you're sort of going back in time. And for me, it feels a bit like the Wild West with all the wooden buildings. Although I should say it has more of a Gothenburg feel rather than a Western feel because this was in fact the first residential area outside of the city walls built in like 1640s or so. So this is effectively the first suburb of Gothenburg and it's about 400 years old, sort of been gentrified. I love the preserve heritage to be honest, like 400 years old city. Or neighborhood sorry that's actually amazing and seeing the food carts you can actually take a picture there and you know do the white and black editing and somebody will think okay you got this picture from the late 90s 80s and it's just so aesthetic pleasing and i love it i, I just imagine how the feel will be like i know different people has been in this place and um it's now my turn to be here i could only imagine yeah Right, I totally into a imagine that. tourist attraction nowadays. Now, the city wall has been mostly demolished, wow. I believe, but there still is a tower remaining yeah. from 400 some odd years ago. So we can go check that out as our last stop today. Wow. Let's keep going. Why was it demolished? I was actually saying preserved everything. Oh wow. And so here we have the medieval tower up on top of the hill, originally built to protect the Swedes from the Danish. Now I've said this before, but stay tuned to our next video. We will be in Copenhagen because I for one didn't realize Denmark is such a big Um the um the Swedes did you what did you say, sorry? Prevent the word from the the medieval tower up on top of the hill, originally built to protect the Swedes from the Danish. Now I've said this before. I think there's one history I want to check about the Swedish and the Danish, you know, all of those things. I want to actually check that history out because I've seen a couple of videos talk about it, but I've not really gotten into details of that history. Or, but stay tuned to our next video. We will.
death and war and struggling because you don't build something like this in a huge fortified city wall on the off chance that maybe there'll be a war. You do it because you are anticipating fighting for your life at some point. And fast forward to today, I don't even like killing spiders. So things have changed. And we can be glad that the tower is just a tourist attraction today. And quite popular because there's uh, people all around. The weather's getting warmer here and so people are sort of enjoying the view, sitting on the cannons, sitting on the benches and sort of Something I would love to do. Uh, enjoying the tower as a tourist Just attraction. A time rather than a uh, life saving there. military fortification. And so it's been a good day here in Gothenburg. I think we'll finish off with the super massive cinnamon, cinnamon bun. bun. What could be better than that? Mm, <laughs> if you can, oh, I always Beyond. think that. <laughs> Is that the most beautiful card you've ever seen or what? Mm -hmm. Wow. Looks good, right? Very soft pastries. Gosh, I feel so hungry. Yeah, true. I want some, true. Good marketing. Good advertising. Darn you guys, they saw that of the big cinnamon bun, <laughs> so we got them in pieces. They still have the pieces. This is the big bun right here. How much does it cost? Yeah, they still have it. Yeah, that's big of your face. Too bad. And so, really good looking cafe here. But unfortunately, like Yvonne said, the big ones are sold out. Maybe we can show a visual representation of how big the oh, big one would it be. Like? It's like this. Right. Or something like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. To be clear, we don't really need the big one in terms of <laughs> the amount of bread. But I wanted the big one. It's cooler. <laughs> Yvonne said I could have the big one. And so anyway, it looks a bit dry. Let's be honest here. It looks dry, no? Yeah, it oh, does. It can't be. This cafe is full of people and it's got a good reputation. But let's see. <laughs> Still good. Not dry. Ooh, very cinnamon flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I did a reaction to someone that went to um try out feeding food. Um, my first thought of the fika. I used to call this stuff fika, but in the recent times, the cinnamon fika is actually a lunch or a coffee break from work or you know stuffs. So yeah, this is a cinnamon roll. I used to call it fika. Sorry about that. And I was saying, um, it's going to be very dried and, you know, very crunchy. But when she had a big taste of it, it was actually moist and just good. And now it's giving the same review. So, yeah, that's it. I would love to try it. Not really sweet. Good. Mm. <laughs> now, I will launch one criticism at Gothenburg and, in fact, Sweden in general. What is this? Coffee? Coffee should come in a coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But anyway, it was a great day in Gothenburg and stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to Copenhagen. First time ever going there. We're excited for that. You're gonna like it, Ivana. It's good. Yeah, let me try. It's good. Yeah. And the sun's America, going out. In North America, this, if you if you get a good cinnamon bun, it's sticky. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is quite sticky. Mm. Pretty good. Pretty good. It tastes better than it looks. True, it doesn't look that good. It looks a bit plain and dry. Yeah. But the cinnamon that flavor is good. Mm -hmm. Tastes better than it looks and love this city. It's beautiful. I thought it was going to be like really, really super boring. But it's quite a treat for your eyes. Very Nailed beautiful. It. Especially with the pink trees. I love the pink trees. Pink I think pink. every city in the world should have pink trees. I think every if you're going to make a tree and you plant pink yeah, trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there would be a measurable oh, improvement in people's happiness. Yes, yes, yes. I think so too. I'm pro pink tree. <laughs> Me, I'm a pink, pink tree guy myself. <laughs> okay, later guys. All right, so this might be the dumbest or the most random thing anyone's ever said in a vlog, but Gothenburg has to be the capital of bike lanes. Everywhere you look, look at the paint job right here. Bikes are going straight, left, right. Humans got to stand in a circle over there. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, what is that? Can I walk <laughs> over there or not? I'm actually having a hard time processing this um, road map. Like, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very North American okay. opinion. Look at you that. Everywhere you look at the, the paint alone in Gothenburg has got to cost you $10 million a year just to repaint the sidewalks everywhere. It's bike and human and bike and human. Oh my gosh, I'm confused where to walk. <laughs> I'm confused, but it's, it's cool. I love how they differentiate everything. 
And yeah, in the video, he said he'll be going to Copenhagen, and that's um, the capital of Denmark the next day. And then I was like, how is that even possible? That is like our flight or, you know, real. And then I remembered um, Sweden, I think Norway and um, Denmark, they share like the same border, like close border. So that would be very easy for them. Altogether, this video was very informative. At the end, I love what she said. I thought it's going to be like a boring city, but no, there's a lot of things to fill your eyes with. And yes, I think I'm also in love with the pink flower and the food court. I love how busy it is. It's good for business, really, really good for business. And then the Fika, um, the hotel. At some point, I was think, saying, I think the hotel cost is um is quite pricey, 54 euro for a night. What do you guys think? Do you think that's pricey or it's a fair, you know, bargain? But well, to me, I think like it's, it's quite pricey, yeah. But I don't know where it's located at because um some reactions actually made me understand if it's actually located in the heart of the city, it's going to be more pricey. Or if it's like in a suburb or far from the heart of the city, it's going to be less pricey. So I don't know which of where it is located. But altogether, this is actually a very fun video. I would love to check out um Sweden, visit Sweden one day if God allow and if I have the funds too for sure. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Please do not forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to use the Buy Me Coffee link below. And this channel also has a membership platform where I react to musical video. And I'm also very active on Patreon as well. I'll see you guys on my next one. Stay safe, stay healthy. I love you all so much. Bye.